man jailed for murder hours after baptism. Bless up, peeps. This is Stephen at the building. And as the title reads, who now wonder to herself? I mean, I would not wonder because these things happen so often nowadays. It's like we live in, in a bad sitcom for some weird reason. It's like Jamaica has become one big pile of nonsense, which I mean, I want to say that um, Jamaica is a beautiful country, a nice country, land of wood and water. So may I say, why for the wood part? But what more I say right now, people, what me want to say, or what me I go say a matter of fact right now is that we need to do better as people of our country. You see me I say, as people, we need to, you know, unite more and help one another. Because a lot of times things can be avoided. And in this situation, mega read to know, is this guy just get um baptized and um, like hours of time gonna kill people. It's it's crazy, you know, it's it's it sounds very you know unreal. Anyways, I'm going to read into the story and we'll break it down and talk about the thing. A Christian man who allegedly chopped a male to death mere hours after he was born again is now in police custody following a series of machete attacks which left several persons nursing injuries in Glen Gough, St. Catherine. Information reached in the Jamaica news is that one man is dead and two others, including a former girlfriend, are said to be nursing injuries. The dead man has been identified as 32-year-old Marlon Robinson, laborer of Glengough's district address. Reports from the police are that he was chopped to death at his home by a man about 11.30 p.m. on Sunday. However, the Jamaican News understands that a series of events involving the accused the day before may have triggered Sunday's deadly attack. Our news team gathered that the accused began showcasing weird behavior after his girlfriend got baptized in May and ended their relationship. He was allegedly told to move on with his life. However, residents claimed that the accused man said that he could not live without her. Saturday night, him attacked him stepmother and will cut his neck. Him tell him father and stepmother said them I work obia and I use him as sacrifice. The father step in and the police come and bring them go station and talk to them. The son tell the police not to let him out cause him fear people in the district are going to kill him. One resident said. After being released by the police, the resident said him walk up and down till daylight. Him go to church yesterday. Sunday, which is the usual thing. Him go back home Sunday night and get baptized. And after church, him just start to talk to people in the district. So the youth them rush him. The Jamaican News added that during the melee, the accused broke free and ran to the home of his ex-lover, where he attacked his former sister-in-law, and Robinson, with whom she shares a child. He reached there and kick off the door and start attack them. And the sister-in-law run out, leave them in there. Him chop up the man and come out, leave him. All this time, nobody knew he, Robinson, was dead. When him come out of the house, the people them start beating him. And it's like the more beating him get, is the stronger him get. All when him get the beating, him start tell the people them to crown him king because they couldn't overpower him. The resident told the Jamaica News. Our news team was told that after the checks were made, Robinson was found dead, slumped over a bathtub containing water. The police were later summoned and the accused taken into custody. Two persons, including the former lover of the accused, who was bitten, stabbed and chopped by the accused, remain in hospital in stable condition. The Corporate Communications Unit, CCU, confirmed the reports and told the Jamaica News that the Glen Gough police are investigating. <sighs> John Star, I tell you, sometimes I hear them news, yeah, and it's just like, this is the reason why I made it even stop watching news, because when you hear them thing more while, you just like, you feel like you're not even in reality, it's like we're now on Twilight Zone, you know, a completely different place, because these things are happening too often, and you know, may I read between the lines, I feel like, you know, through the woman left him, and maybe she left him for the guy, or somewhere in between the lines there, 
or maybe the guy that try you know save the girl or something like that and him get himself killed you see me but you know the story says it all um it's sad that it have got away there you see me i say condolences to the people them you know and thing and i hope them people don't get chopped up hope they get a speedy recovery you see me i say cause it's sad yeah man the guy that forget what him deserve yeah man lock up and all of that because you can't take nobody life at the end of the day if you want somebody have an issue or the person left you no for them business that i mean if them want left you and it hurts you have to always remember so there are more fishes in the sea no hold on why on that there are more females in the world so what may i say is simply you know, just give up on life because basically i uh, give and give up on life because you know you doing that chop up you know the person there and kill the person there you basically you gotta go to jail you know it's just like inevitable for you get lock up so me I say, or you gotta live your rest of your life running on the on the road for the rest of your life. You so me I say, some people so it's just like give one, give away life. So me so sad me I tell you. Remember to leave a comment, people, and let me know anything about the whole thing. Bless up on yourself. You know, I'm out.